Hello, it is the morning of my operation. It's about 6.25. I need to be leaving here in the next few minutes to get there at 7.20. And they plan to roll me back for the operation around 10.05. So I'm wearing just loose, comfortable clothing, pants with no metal, and they have a drawstring because um, they said that would be the most comfortable. And then just comfortable shoes. I did have to tape up all my piercings or take them out. So I have tape here. I don't think I have to tape here. Tape here. And then I don't think I have to tape my nose, but if I do, I'm bringing some extra band-aids. I was allowed to have clear liquids until 6.20, so I had black coffee, but I was not allowed to eat after 10 last night. So I'm just ready to go. I'm really quickly gonna run through everything that I'm bringing because I'll be there at least one night. I have all my toiletries, um, this little sleep sweater that I found. It's just really soft and fluffy and doesn't have any seams, so it's really warm and comfortable to sleep in in case I get cold. A um, pair of slippers to walk around in, phone charger, warm socks if I'm allowed to wear them. I have several masks, a few pairs of socks and underwear, um, the paperwork that they gave me, and more masks, hand sanitizer, a book, an eye mask, because I think that might make it a little easier to sleep when everything is going on around me, and oh, a travel pillow, because I saw that recommended, because you'll be on your back, and I'm not used to laying on my back. I'm normally a side or stomach sleeper, so this I think will be really helpful, and then a blanket that I was gifted, and that's about it. So I am about two, two and a half hours post-op. Um, my voice is really, it's kind of sore and scratchy just from the breathing tube that they had in. Um, but the doctor said that the surgery really couldn't have gone much better and that the disc was kind of moving around and um, it was time to take it out. And so they did. And um, I'm in a fair amount of pain. They've already given me pain meds through um, my IV and through pill form. Um, I have two compression socks on my legs that just kind of fill with air and then deflate, which helps with prevention of any blood clots from laying down. Um, so I'm on a clear liquid diet for now until we can get things moving. So I have some broth that I'm sipping on, some apple juice when I'm ready for it, and some jello. As far as pain levels, um, most of the pain is kind of divided between my front where my incision is and the back where the disc was taken out. Um, so it's definitely there. It's not much fun, but I'm just glad that I got it done. So physical therapy came in about four hours post-op and she helped me to stand up for the first time and I had to log roll to get up out of bed, which was really pretty painful. Um, that was kind of the worst of it was getting in and out of bed, but once I was up We took a few steps around the room that I'll be staying in for the next night or two and um, Just make sure that I could walk she was supporting me and then I was also using a walker Which there's a pretty good chance that I might end up going home with a walker just to help get around the house It is a little after 8 o'clock on the day of my surgery I'm in the hospital overnight and the uh, narcotics that they gave me really weren't relieving my pain, so I have a new nurse for overnight. She tried me on something different, which has been helping a lot. It just makes me really sleepy. Um, so yeah, pain levels going down. Um, I really feel good. I've been able to only eat clear liquids because you have to be able to pass some air before you're allowed to eat solid food. So that's kind of what we're waiting on. So every hour, I have to take 10 deep breaths with this spirometer and try to get it up high and breathe in slowly, which helps reduce the likelihood of pneumonia. And so I have to do that. And then also every 10 minute or not 10 minutes, every hour, I have to do some ankle pumps, just moving my foot forward and backwards, which um, will help for me to not develop any blood clots. And, um, that's really it. I still have the compression socks on my legs that are inflating with air and then deflating. Um, they just took a third round of blood pretty recently. 
Um, and yeah, that's, that's about it for today. Just a really dry throat, um, a bit of pain, but it's definitely manageable. Hello, it is um, a little after five right now. I woke up at four because the blood draw nurse came in to take um, more samples to run more tests. And um, after that, I was pretty awake, just with really bad incision pain. So I just pressed the pain button on my remote and uh, we're trying new pain medicine, but the, the stitching, the where the incision is, is really the worst right now. So it's a few hours before lunchtime. I had my breakfast, which was basically just some broth and a jello. Um, and they're having me on more medication for the pain. PT came in and tried to get me to stand up for the second time since operation and it didn't go very well. I um, was just in so much pain even just trying to sit up from the incision and once they got me moving the pain was just too much and it started making me pass out so they had to pretty quickly put me back in bed and until I can really show them that I'm capable of walking on my own I don't think I'll have the option to go home today so it's looking like I might be spending a second night here after lunchtime they were gonna have me walk again which we did and again we went a little bit farther than we managed to this morning but it was still not enough as far as pain levels go mine have been really high all day um, I think the lowest I ever rated it was a 6 and then all the way up to a 10 when I was walking today's been a challenge for sure and now I'm just kind of resting and gonna try to get as much sleep as possible on the bright side, my stomach did get things moving at the end of the day today, which means that I can be kind of put onto a liquid diet instead of a clear liquid diet, which I think means that tomorrow morning I get to start out by having something like grits or oatmeal or um, maybe mashed potatoes for lunch, something like that, where it's not just everything I'm having is through a straw. So <laughs> I'm excited to have a little bit of normalcy back tomorrow and I'm really hoping that I'll be able to do the walking on my own, the using the bathroom and the stairs so that I can get ready to check out. One other thing that I wanted to kind of touch on was that I have a back brace, which is really just a big wrap that's Velcro, and it um, goes up pretty much all of my stomach to my upper chest, and um, it basically is a good reminder to hold everything steady, especially with learning the log rolling and that way I don't do anything drastic that could really hurt the fusion. Um, so today I got to take it off and let my body breathe for a little bit and I put some ice over my belly where the incision is and all the soreness and irritation and that did help a lot. So it's about 10 in the morning of day three being in the hospital. This morning I had my blood draw and everything came back looking good vitals are good and so I went ahead and um, I tried to get cleared for PT which involved um, being able to walk around my room on my own with my walker, um, going up some practice stairs with the walker and practicing holding on to the railing um, and a few other movements and then getting in and out of bed with the log rolling technique and even though it didn't feel very good it all went well and I was cleared from PT um, so the next step after that was to have my catheter out so really what comes next is just being able to take care of bodily functions on my own without assistance and then I'll pretty much be on my way and I'll get to go home. So feeling really good, a lot more capable than yesterday. Hello from recovery day five. I did not film a lot once I got home from the hospital on day three um, just because a lot happened that I'm going to talk through. So picking up kind of where I left off on day three, I made it through physical therapy and got approval from them to be discharged. And then the occupational therapists came in and they had me get dressed in the clothes that I arrived at the hospital in, which I was just wearing kind of loose, soft clothes. So that was good. And then um, getting dressed was a process and a little more difficult than anticipated. There are just some movements that you really don't even think about that you can't do anymore. So it's nice to have help getting dressed. I've even noticed after getting home from the hospital, I prefer to have help if I can, and if not, it's something that they'll teach you how to do on your own. So we got dressed and then I 
Um, they had me wash my face, brush my teeth, kind of do whatever I wanted to do to get myself ready to leave. After I saw them and had their kind of thumbs up that I was good to go, I had a solid meal or solid food for my meal, which was still one of my first times having solids. That was really nice to get a full meal in. And then they allowed me to take a little bit more painkillers before I left. Um, made sure I was clear through all the steps to go. They have some paperwork that they have you go over just to remind you what you can and can't do. And then um, I had my v IV out and catheter out, of course. And they called up for the wheelchair to um, take me out to the car. Once I got home on day three, it was um, mid-afternoon and I fell asleep for several hours just from not sleeping well in the hospital. I had a bowl of fruit and after a few hours of just eating and resting, my stomach started to feel really bubbly. And I think that was just kind of a sign that things were moving, which was good, but just a little bit uncomfortable because any gas that you have or discomfort in your stomach is really right under where the incision is. So um, when you're bloated like that, it can make your incision hurt a little bit more. It's just something to look out for. As far as equipment that I ended up leaving with, I have a rolling walker, which has wheels on the front and kind of stoppers on the back. So you can use it to kind of support yourself when you're getting up or sitting down, and that's really helpful, but then it also moves with you and keeps you from going a little too fast. So I have found that to be really helpful in these past few days. And I also left with a um, portable toilet riser, which I use just, it goes on top of my toilet just to give me a little bit more height. That way I'm not lowering myself down so far. And there are handlebars to hold on to. So that's been awesome. And it also can double as a shower seat.